Hi, my name is Dylan Moore, and I'm the head writer at Alloy UX as well as the founder. And today we're going to be talking about the Zebra case from ingrained products for the Raspberry Pi B+. First off, I want to talk about the reasons I got a Pi. Um, I got a Pi B+, because finally I had two more USB ports, and I knew if I were going to get a microcomputing board that I was going to need a lot of USB ports. Uh, and I knew that with external USB buses, it can get kind of messy when it comes to drivers and firmware and etc. for uh, Linux distributions. Uh, although granted, the uh, Raspberry Pi B+, a lot of the, for example, I'm going to use it for uh, penetration testing in the Kali distribution, still hasn't been updated as of this review, so um, there's still a lot of issues. but. Um, I wanted to talk about that so I could get into why I got this case in particular. Now, I got this case because you'll notice it kind of has more of a desktop look to it. Um, if you go on Amazon you look at some of the other ones, there are cheaper options, but they're not going to look as hefty or as um, independent. And now that this does have two more USB ports, a lot is going to be connected to it, and so it's kind of an important factor that that it'd be a little bit more, I don't want to say bulky, but that it takes up its own space. Um, and it's uh, more dominant. I, I like that. So real quick, I'll show you some of the pieces. Now, here's some of um, one of one of the black pieces. Now these come in layers that you put together, kind of like Legos. And I thought that was cool. Um, it was a little tricky at first, while I figured out the best way to stack it, the most efficient way. But peeling the paper like this kind of makes up for it. And um, it, it was packaged very nicely, and I wasn't at all surprised. Um, at how well it came together. Inside the package are the pieces needed to put it together, which are made of high quality acrylic with a little bit of inscription. Um, on one part it says made in the USA and the other part it says ingrainproducts.com, which obviously is the website and you should definitely check it out. There will be a link in the review. Um, you have a bunch of screws and some nuts to hold all the pieces in place. Um, it does a good job of doing it. And you've got these three pieces here, which assist another part of the design. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Right here, we've got this um, this I/O port. It's got the charger, the HDMI, and as well as um, the headphone, the audio 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And I have refrained from cutting my nails today just so that I could do this review and peel it off for you guys. can see how high quality the acrylic is you can see right through it and of course you can but um, acrylic is a dust magnet it's a lot better than plastic it's much more desirable much higher quality so for a final look um, I'll go ahead and show how the USB ports and the Ethernet look the SD card and the back of the PCB. And here we have the front, the top of the PCB rather. See the processor and the Raspberry Pi logo. And here's the side where you can see the GPIO, which is kind of useful. It's got some height above it, which matters because if you've got yourself an adapter, I've heard from some reviews on Amazon that it doesn't actually allow for the ribbon to leave the case. Um, I would also like to mention that my HDMI, I have one of the more high-end adapters, and so when I try to plug this in, there is just barely enough space in between the two black layers of plastic, of acrylic, that um, allow for it to plug in, but it just barely fits in there, um, so it's not a problem for me. But someone with a more uh, monster cable or one of those gold braided ones, uh, you might want to make sure that it fits or that uh, it's not massive on maybe any other console first. Hey everybody, again, my name is Dylan from Alloy UX, and this has been the review of the Black Ice Zebra case from Ingrained Products for the Raspberry Pi, Pi the B+. Uh, I do recommend, if you have $25, that you go pick it up on Amazon right now, and here's some shots of how the LEDs look inside the case. It's a little bright. Thanks for watching. Bye.